Hey crafty friend, it's Justine. I have two cards here today to show you from the small die of the month. This is the Santa one. It's called a big jolly Santa and I've already gone ahead and started making my little scene here. And originally I was going to make this card off camera and then show you my second card here, but I decided to show you this one as well. So I'm going ahead and adding these bottle brush trees that I made with some green cardstock and regular green cardstock on to the card and building a little bit of the background. And I went ahead and did my background with the tile die. No, this one's not the tile. This one's called the Flowering Christmas Tree Burst. It's beautiful. Look at that. I made a little makeshift snowbank here and I layered that onto some silver mirror cardstock on a card base. So we're all ready. Now I'm going to build my little Santa hat. This is part of the die that came with the Jolly Santa. He's a cutie and I decided just to use the hat on this card. So the hat has kind of a little shape to it like it would be on his head since it's meant to be on his head and then a little pom-pom on the back. And then I had an extra wax seal from this month's card, this month's wax seal club that I made a whole bunch of these, but I wanted to add this onto my card. I really tried to mix and match a lot of the clubs together because I know a lot of people get the perfect package, which has everything in it. So I wanted to go ahead and give you inspiration if you are a perfect package person to make some cards with all of your stuff. If you aren't familiar with Spellbinders Clubs, the perfect package is basically you're getting everything and I think the wax seal and the better press are not included in that right now, but um, if you wanted to add those on, you certainly could. But we have the small die and the wax here and the embossing folder, so the 3D embossing folder. So we kind of have a little bit of a mix here. So this is kind of a simple card. I'm going to have Santa's hat be kind of in the snow as if it was like it had fallen off of his head. That's kind of the vision I have going here. So I'm going to glue it right on to my snowbank. Like so. And then I'm going to stick my wax seal up here on the background. I get a lot of questions about how to attach wax seals. I like liquid glue. There are certain little adhesive stickers you can purchase as well. I like using those on envelopes, but on a card, liquid glue is super easy, so I just use that. So there is a really quick card. Now on my next card, I wanted to go and have a little bit of fun with my background. So here we go. Oh, and by the way, there's an add-on this month, this little stamp set that goes with this die and it's perfect for adding sentiments onto this little banner that Santa holds. So let's get right into this card, <laughs> the main event. So with this card, I wanted to build kind of a silly scene. So my red paper is going to be my background paper. And then, well, my matting paper, I guess. And then I have this blue paper that's going to be layered on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and wait to, la to layer that on yet. <clears throat> I have a paper cutter from Creative Memories from way back in the day that makes a wavy edge. So that's what I use to make my snowbank. But you could just use a scissors and cut it out. I did that on another card for one of the clubs this month and it wasn't a big deal. So if you don't have that cutter, go ahead and use your scissors. I wanted to make a fun, interesting background for my snowbank. So my inspiration was the embossing folder for the month, this Christmas tile one. This is the regular embossing folder. So bear with me here. This is gonna be kind of a quick process. So the front has the Spellbinders logo on it. So that's what I'm going to use with my embossing 
ink. I'm going to get my snow banks all set and ready right here. Try to get them as straight as possible. And then I'm going to grab my embossing ink. I use Versamark. I have a few different brands, but this one I seem to reach for a lot. It's clear. So here we go. I am just going to pounce this on the top part of the embossing folder where there are indents. The fun thing about the Spellbinders embossing folders are they're plastic and you can wash them. So when I'm done with this, I can wash it and it's ready for my next use. All right, I think that's plenty of ink, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. And then I'm going to close my embossing folder right on my pieces. I'm gonna run this through my platinum, which is off camera really quick, but it's just a die cut machine that will press my embossing folder together. So it's all pressed. And now you can't see the ink because it's clear, but it's on there, I promise. Now I'm going to use my silver embossing powder. Ooh la la, so fancy. All right, and I'm going to emboss my snow banks with this beautiful embossing folder. To do that, I'm going to use my reverse tweezers just so I don't get my fingers too sticky and in everything. so pretty. I'm just going to give it a tap, get the extras off. That is so pretty. Okay, and I'm going to do my second one. And I think I'm just going to forget about my reverse tweezers and go in with my hands because I'm nervous that my ink is going to dry. Okay, looking good. Now, I'm going to take my little brush, I have a little, kind of a little brim brush, and I'm going to just brush off any extras that might kind of get in the way of the design. There we have it. Now I need to get my heat gun plugged in and we'll emboss these beauties. If you're wondering, my heat gun is the Chandler Tool one. It is old, but it works very well. <laughs> I think this might be older than some of the students in my high school that I work at. So here we go. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to just mute the audio because it's kind of loud. And there we have it. How pretty are these? Oh my goodness. They're prettier than I thought they would turn up, but that's wonderful. Okay. So like I said, I wanted to create a silly card. And by that, I mean, we're going to have Santa have a crash landing on this card. So I'm going to position my snow banks like they would be on the bottom. And then I need to get my little Santa body ready where it needs to go as well. All right, everything will lay out just fine if I Position it on the bottom. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is glue it on and then cut off the extras since there is some extras on the side here. All right, there we have it. Time to trim the extras. Speaking of trimming, I still haven't gotten my blade sharpened yet, but one day. Spellbinders is coming out with a paper trimmer this month, so I hope that I can get my hands on that soon because I am in need of a new paper trimmer, especially one to cut larger paper. Alrighty, so we have our card panel. I'm just gonna stick that on to the back red piece here quickly. And then I will start positioning the crash landing. Bit of a dramatic take on the Christmas card, but don't worry, Santa's gonna be fine. It's just a cute, playful card. Alrighty, let's assemble Santa first just so he's all ready to go. Now, most of his head won't be showing. So we're just gonna put on his beard like this. Everything has etching on it, so I know exactly where to put it. Isn't that nice? All right, 
and we have his little belly band of white is going to go right about here and we'll stick that right on where it belongs so interesting how a few pieces of paper can really change the look of things all right now for his shoes we're going to do the black parts first and now for my little sign and i use the sentiment oh what fun from the add-on because I thought that it would be kind of fun to show Santa falling out of the sleigh and now he's in the snowbank and he's having fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Now I'm probably going to have to trim some of this off because I'm going to be tucking him into the snowbank. So sorry to cut off your face, Santa, but you'll live somewhat. And I think that's kind of where I want him to go. I'm just going to put glue kind of on the belly area and not on his feet because I kind of want them to stick up a little bit like that. And then again for the sign, I'm just going to put glue on the bottom here because I want it to stick up. Kind of like that. Oh, that is so silly. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it needs something down here. So I think we'll pop a wax seal on. Why not, right? Let's do it. Let's use one from this month's. Let's use this month's seal. I've been popping this seal on everything. Okay. I think we're going to do it with silver paint pen. I'm going to use my silver paint pen to add on to the raised areas again, like my first one. If you want to know how to wax seal, I have a whole bunch of videos on my channel. I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute. Now that I was thinking about it, I think that I'm going to add some twine wrapped around here too, just to tie in a little bit of some green so this green isn't so random. There we go, now I might as well pop it on my card base since I have some adhesive on the back. And then I'll finish off by adding my wax seal right onto the card base. Oh, this is looking so funny to me. I don't know, maybe my humor is a little bit odd, but you know, Santa's okay. He's just, <laughs> he's had a little sleigh accident, but he's all right. Alrighty, <clears throat> let me know which card you like better. Is it the Santa hat or the crash landing? Let me know in the comments. I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye.